Thank you. Good afternoon. It's really uh, great to be here at this occasion when we're introducing legislation uh, that can have an inhibiting effect on foreclosures uh, in San Francisco. I want to thank uh, Assessor Phil Tang for all of his work looking at this issue and understanding that there's something somewhat rotten in Denmark or in San Francisco uh, when it comes to the volume of foreclosures that we have uh, in the city. Uh, I actually represent uh, a district along with uh, Supervisor Cohen represents districts uh, that have a very high, high level of foreclosure. Also, District 9 has another high level of foreclosures, and it, we need to have a response uh, from the city. Uh, and we've heard from many people across uh, San Francisco uh, that have called for an adequate response from the city and county of San Francisco. Uh, we've had hearings on uh, the foreclosure crisis and what the city's doing to mobilize against it. Uh, we passed a resolution calling for uh, a halt uh, to foreclosures as well. Uh, that was passed in April, uh, and this is the latest uh, we have in terms of what we can do. And this is finally something that actually has uh, some teeth to it. So I actually want to thank uh, Occupy Bernal uh, for your work in bringing uh, these issues forward. I want to thank uh, ACE uh, for your work in the Excelsior and in the in Baby Hunters Point around the foreclosures that are happening there and making sure that residents actually have the power to fight back against foreclosures. I want to thank uh, SCIU 10 to 1 for your work on this issue as well, as well as uh, Just Cause Causa Justa uh, for your work in bringing up uh, solutions to our foreclosure crisis. Uh, tomorrow I'll be introducing Introducing uh, the foreclosure fairness ordinance, and I'm uh, happy to have co-sponsors of this measure: uh, Supervisors uh, Cohen, uh, Olage, uh, Supervisor uh, Mar, who's not here right now, and Supervisor Campos. All of us are here because we see a real problem in this city, and we want to be able to have an adequate response. Uh, this ordinance is really all the, is really about trying to make sure we're inhibiting foreclosures in San Francisco. I've actually have a firsthand knowledge of how difficult it is to get a loan modification in this city. A few years back, my family had uh, some difficulty. We had some health issues that we had to resolve. Uh, my wife had to stop working. We only had one income, and we needed desperately to be able to modify our loan uh, on our mortgage to be able to uh, stay in our, in our housing. And uh, it took uh, many, many months to work it out. Uh, it was only with the help of organizations like META, uh, the Housing Development Corporation as well, that we're able to actually have a, a, a loan modification. But I think I had an advantage being an elected official to be able to get that. We need to make sure that everyday San Franciscans, everyday residents can have the ability to get loan modifications. And we can make sure that banks are accountable to making sure they're doing everything they can to not fast track foreclosures, but to actually modify loans to help people stay in their households. When we have our, for working people and people of color in San Francisco, especially on the southern part of San Francisco, our wealth is in our homes. Our assets are in our homes. And if we lose our homes, we're losing our wealth. And we're losing our wealth, our whole communities are losing our ability to stay in San Francisco and are losing our wealth as well. And we need to do everything we can to make sure uh, that that happens. Uh, if this ordinance that removes the exemption on banks around foreclosures uh, from paying their, the real estate transfer if it's successful, we will not see any revenue whatsoever, but we will see a limit on the foreclosures that happen in this city. So I'm very happy and honored to be working on, on this and happy to have the support of many people in the community and uh, my colleagues as well. And I just want to say, let's move this on to the ballot in November and win. Thank you.